in this video we'll share the top 15 things to do in Segovia. At number 1 we have the Aqueduct of Segovia. This monumental structure is not only an emblem of the city, but also one of Europe's most significant Roman monuments. The aqueduct is a marvel of ancient engineering, with its stones meticulously interlocked, primarily held together by gravity rather than mortar. It once transported water from the Frio River to the city, serving as a vital lifeline for the residents of Segovia. At number two, we have the Alcazar of Segovia. Dominating the city's skyline, this palace is a blend of Roman, Moorish, and Renaissance architectural styles. It has been the residence of numerous monarchs, offering visitors a glimpse into the lives of royalty. The Alcazar is renowned for its storybook appearance, with its iconic towers providing breathtaking views of the surrounding landscape. At number three, we have Segovia Cathedral. Constructed after the destruction of the old cathedral during the revolt of the Comuneros, this magnificent structure stands as one of Europe's last Gothic cathedrals. Its chapels house an array of artistic treasures, including paintings, sculptures, and sarcophagi, providing a visual feast for visitors. At number four, we have the walls of Segovia. These ancient fortifications have protected the city since the time of the Moors. Visitors can trace the outline of these walls, exploring the various gates and towers that have stood the test of time. The area around the Gate of San Andres offers particularly stunning views of the surrounding valleys. At number five, we have the Mirador de la Pradera de San Marcos. This picturesque spot offers unparalleled views of the Alcazar, making it a favorite for photographers and tourists alike. The park is an ideal location for a leisurely picnic, allowing visitors to relax while taking in the sights of one of Spain's cultural treasures. At number six, we have the Museo de Segovia. Located in the Casa del Sol, the museum takes visitors on a journey through the rich history of the Segovia province. With over 1,500 pieces on display, ranging from Roman mosaics to Renaissance paintings, it offers a comprehensive overview of the region's artistic and cultural heritage. At number seven, we have the Casa de los Picos. This late 15th century mansion is easily recognizable by its facade adorned with 617 pyramid-shaped granite points. The interior serves as an exhibition hall for the Segovia Art School, showcasing a variety of artworks and hosting cultural events. At number eight, we have the Royal Palace of La Granja de San Ildefonso. Built as a summer residence for King Felipe V, this palace and its gardens are open to the public, offering a glimpse into royal life. The gardens are meticulously maintained, featuring regal boulevards, trimmed hedges, and ornate fountains. At number nine, we have Calle Real de Segovia. This series of pedestrian streets winds through the old part of Segovia, guiding visitors past palaces, churches, and other historic buildings. It offers a comprehensive introduction to the city, with plenty of opportunities for shopping and dining along the way. At number 10, we have Iglesia de la Vera Cruz. This 12-sided church was consecrated in 1208 and is known for its unique architecture, reminiscent of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem. Its interior is adorned with the flags and insignia of the Order of Malta. At number 11, we have Iglesia de San Millán. This church is notable for its 10th century bell tower and austere Romanesque style. Located in the Moorish part of Segovia, it offers a tranquil space for reflection away from the bustling tourist areas. At number 12, we have Plaza Medina del Campo. This square is located in the heart of Segovia's Renaissance district, surrounded by mansions with highly decorative facades. The Church of San Martin, another beautiful Romanesque church, stands at the center of the square. At number 13, we have Real Casa de la Moneda. Once a royal mint, this building now serves as a museum showcasing the history of coin production in Spain. Visitors can explore the restored Renaissance technology used in minting, including the hydraulic wheel powered by the Eresma River. At number 14, we have the Jewish Quarter. Though few traces remain of Segovia's Jewish population, the area around the cathedral still follows the layout of the former ghetto. The Church of Corpus Christi, originally a synagogue, stands as a testament to the city's multicultural history. At number 15, we have Segovian cuisine. The city is known for its hearty, protein-rich dishes, perfect for warming up during the cold winter months. The signature dish is roast suckling pig, so tender it can be cut with a plate. For those interested in the culinary arts, the Museo Gastronomico de Segovia offers insights into the region's food history and local gourmet products. 
So that sums up my top 15 things to do in Segovia. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.